Cincinnati as a whole is approximately 43% African American, about 50% Caucasian, and then there's you know like 7% that is kind of a mixed group of other ethnicities. Um, and what we've seen is traditionally in the, this specific neighborhood of Over the Rhine, it used to be about 90% African American, and at the time that it was 90% African American, there were a lot of African American businesses. About 15 years ago, there was a police involved shooting and riots that happened after the fact. Um, after the riots, the property values dropped significantly and um, there were a lot of buildings that pretty much just kind of were condemned or shut down. And that became a, an opportunity for people who uh, were investors to kind of purchase buildings and sit on them for 10 or 15 years. And then what we were recognizing is that later on, um, you know, as the city started to pour money into this neighborhood, um, the businesses that were open also didn't match the complexion of the original uh, residents. When you think of what the neighborhood used to look like, um, yes, there are changes that are positive, but as we're revitalizing, are we also displacing? Are we also revitalizing people's lives in the process? Or are we just shifting to a different narrative and forgetting where we came from and not helping those individuals to grow with the neighborhood. Nobody's asking them, you know, how, how can we be of service to you because you've been here for 30 years. Nobody's asking those questions. Those are the people that we're targeting, the people who have those gifts, talents, and abilities, but just don't know what to do next and how they can be a part of their community um, that is shifting. Ultimately, you know, the plan is to change what the United States looks like in communities um, that are being gentrified, in communities where people are being displaced, in communities where people don't have opportunities um, strictly based on their income levels, which is often tied to uh, their skin tones. Um, so we're trying to figure out what that looks like and um, ultimately when it's all said and done, if our legacy is that we were change makers who um, kicked open a couple doors to make sure that we created opportunities and we brought people with us in that process so that they could be a, a deeper uh, part of their communities and they could actually have impact locally. That's, that's what we're working for. That's what I'm passionate about is that legacy.